Oh. The Missouri Tigers went on to Norm Stewart Court tonight, having lost back-to-back -back games, their first two-game losing streak of the season. But they are perfect at home, a stellar 13-0. And they're at home tonight in Big 12 play against the Colorado Buffaloes. The Tigers coming right at you. Next, it's Mizzou and Colorado on the Mizzou Television Network. Cardo Ratliff and Lawrence Bowers back in the starting lineup. Phil Flip Pressy and his brother Matt both start tonight for Missouri, along with the leading scorer, Marcus Denman. About to take Lawrence off the dribble. Pressy deflects the pass. Matt to his brother Phil. Denman ahead. All the way, and it counts. The transition and allow him to finish again points off turnovers it's such a big part 25 percent of missouri's offense off of turnovers and that time he goes up strong gets the bucket and the foul denman looks to complete the three-point play denman for ratliff ricardo turns up over defaults bottle that up and sell it Denman swirling to the basket and scoring. Point eight, but he leads the league in conference games only, averaging about 21 in the league. Denman can score as well. That will count, and a free throw as well. Well, a, a great outlet pass, and he knows what to do with it when he gets in the open court. Going strong to the basket. Yeah, take a look at this. Good defensive rebound, and then the long outlet pass right on the money to Marcus Denman. Count him tonight and improve that 17-5 record. Denman is doing his part. Marcus Denman, two more. He's got nine. Watch Marcus Denman off the ball. He makes a pass to the top of the key, and then he makes a hard cut right to lane and gets that pass. Flish again with it out front against Perks. He'll drive strong to the bucket and get the bounce. A packed up bunch in the middle of this league as Denman comes up with the steal. Both point guards out together for Missouri. Nice find. Dixon for Ricardo Ratliff. Yeah, that was good recognition by Michael Dixon. He saw Ratliff. Yes. English for three. Got it. See, that's when he's good shooting the basketball, when he steps into it. Here's Ratliff. Cans another one. Ricardo, four for four. And English stops, pops, hits. Hard to run with the Tigers. Take a look at Ratliff down on the post. Just a little face up that time on default and knocks down the short 15 footer. And we've seen what he can do on the block. And then you see English playing with a little mojo. And I think getting to the free throw line has helped Kim English get a little more confident. And he loves it. And so does this crowd here. You know, the 18 team schedules. Michael Dixon knocks it down. Steve gets it to Michael Dixon. What a move! He loves that move, that little look off, and then the high kiss off the glass. The Tiger lead is 15. Oh, Pressy, quick hands. Look at the effort from the freshman to Dixon. Oh, how about that? It, you can see why it's hard to keep this young man, Phil Pressy. Look at that little crossover. He waits for that crossover, gets low, and look at that hustle and the presence of mind to send it on to Dixon for the layup. Pressy, the assist from the 6'10". Pressy for three. We're seeing it all yep. from the freshman yep. from Dallas. Yeah, he's just got that kind of swagger, doesn't he? Assists along the way as the Tigers own a 47-31 lead over Colorado at halftime at a sold-out Mizzou Arena in Columbia. Basketball, Mizzou in Colorado, and Marcus Denman scores three more. He has 14 points. Come now heavily bandaged, so he will not return. Levi Knutson out there in his place. And Bowers, the length of the floor, and it counts. Yeah, how many guys at six foot nine can make a steal, dribble the length of the floor, and have the agility to be able to finish? I mean, Lawrence Bowers, he's just a very special player with his ability. He can do so many things, so versatile, goes up, has enough agility and balance to take the contact and still have the presence of mind to flip it up off the glass softly. Good, good to see Bowers back to his usual self. He took that inadvertent elbow a week ago tonight at Texas from Tristan 34 in the last 36 league games away from home. Matt Pressy from Ricardo Ratliff. Yeah, the 
by tournaments. You got to protect Relford against Moore, and Steve's hung in there against him. Burks now has it blocked away, and Ratliff and Moore making life difficult for Alec Burks. Yeah, you know, two big guys that can move their feet. Luxury when you've got a guy like 270, and Relford trying to go to the basket. Moore does a pretty good job without plays without fouling. And Ratliff comes over and helps. Denman and Dixon, two on one. Michael to Marcus to the bucket. And again, Tigers off the loose ball, get it out in transition, a little two-man game. Denman makes the pass, and Dixon does a nice job of not running into Knutson and drawing the charge. A run to cut a 22-point Tiger lead down to 10. Ratliff with an answer. After that monster slam, Shannon Sharp got a hand on that pass. Dixon gets it back and puts it in. Big basket for Michael Dixon. Yeah, that was a momentum shifter right there. And a steal for Pressy. All the way. Look at that move. Mr. Energy. And uh, not to be outdone, Pressy saw Sharp move briefly, didn't he, and took that opening. Well, and Sharp can get up a little bit, too. He actually tried to dunk it, and as he was going up, I thought, where is he? Uh, but we're going to play a fun brand of basketball. Now he's got the players to play the style. Dixon nails another three-pointer. But against Bowers all the way, no, Robertson, look out, almost lost his balance as he was nearly upended. Bowers the other way, all the way, flips it up and in, and it will count. How about that Ooh. dexterity? Woo. Six foot nine, running the floor. Beautiful finish. Tigers extending their lead. Complete a three-point play. Bowers does just that. That's true. <laughs> He's the mayor, maybe. Speaking of, he'll get a lot of votes for re-election from this Tiger crowd. I don't you? Opportunity at a steal. English pulls back, puts it up and in. To San Francisco, literally Burks and Higgins. Oh. Whoa. Look at Ted Hillary. Dixon falls backwards into Hillary, who falls backwards into the front row. Uh, uh, Ted's been around the block a few times, but very seldom has he fell over backwards. You see Dixon runs into him and he gets caught on the uh, photographers. photographers. As one in particular, I know worked six games last week because I was watching them all. I wasn't even looking for the guy every game. He's working the same game. That's amazing. Absolutely a tired Tiger fan. Hey, they're just trying to have some fun. 86-71 Mizzou, 105 to go. On a Saturday night, Mizzou will head to Lawrence, Kansas for Monday night's shot clock under 10. English for three more. Give it to him. 21 for Kimmy English. He has regained the shooting touch here tonight. A much-needed win tonight for the Missouri Tigers as they beat Colorado by 16 points. They get set to head to Kansas Monday night. While Colorado will head home to the mountains and host the Texas A&M Aggies on Wednesday.